there's a certain type of person that's a distance runner. You have to be super determined. Uh, you, you know, you have to sometimes just kind of put your brain on autopilot and you're just out there like clipping off the miles. Up here and down here, like I gotta just go for it and if I end up, you know, passing out, dying, throwing up, whatever, it was all worth it, you know, just to see that time in the end. And it's all about just feeling like what's right but doing it and not being scared to push yourself past those limits because, you know, runners have great wells of strength that you never tap in. Developing that mentality that pushes you to those levels is what is how you reach your goals. I started running when I was 10. Like I was, I was like track club um, up in Canada, and you know that opened doors for me to come um, to run in, in the NCAA. I ran at University of Alabama for for four years, and then went on to run professionally for Nike. And then um, I had three kids, um, you know. But obviously, it gets to a point where my body was like, okay, you need to stop. You need to stop now. <laughs> so I did some personal training, and then from there, it was just a natural progression into coaching. You know, I track has just been a part of who I am, a part of my life for so many years, and I've really, like, it had given me so much. When you're so passionate about something, it doesn't really seem like a job. Freshman year of high school, my I moved from Germany to Virginia. And my parents, you know, were, were pushing me to run. I had played baseball and soccer before, and they were like, hey, there's no fall sport. Like, that's all in the spring. So if you want to make friends, you want to get in there, you got to go run cross country, whatever. You'll be good at it. Trust me. So my parents are both runners. Um, I made some pretty good friends. I didn't make the soccer team. So spring rolls around, and I was like, well, I guess I'm running track. Ran pretty well in the spring, and the, uh, the seniors, juniors on the team kind of noticed that, took me under their wing, you know. One race into the fall season, I remember, I had run like 21.30 last, the previous year, and I ran like 16.23 a year later. And so my coaches freaked out, you know, they are all hyping me up. I went from like, you know, probably 11th on the team to like second on the team. That's when it became like, okay, I need to really like put some effort into this, figure out what running is and go for it from there. Yeah, I played a lot of sports growing up. I think soccer, lacrosse, I played hockey for 10 years, baseball, you know, really anything, like a lot of sports I like to try. And when I first started running, it honestly goes back to the people that I was doing it with. And then over time, it became something that I got good at. And I was like, you know, this could be something that I want to go to college for. And I think the reason that this was a sport I wanted to do was because I enjoyed doing it every day. It wasn't something where I felt like, oh, I have to go to practice. This was something that I looked forward to, you know, with your teammates when you're running or by yourself getting like that runner's high. It was just something that I felt was a part of me that I had never had before. Like some, like I found a part of myself that I never had. And I enjoy making goals and pushing myself every day. And it, I felt like it was something that I could really get better at and see myself improving at, at the collegiate level.